Sham. How many have seen the Shim Sham before? Okay, how many have attempted it? Okay. Well, you're going to learn it in just one hour. Okay? And then you'll be able to dance it. And then you might go home and you might forget it. But if you dance it every week, then it will stick. Okay, so what is the Shim Sham? The Shim Sham is a line dance and it's a mixer. It goes all the way back to the 1920s. It was choreographed by Leonard Reed and it was choreographed as a tap dance. What happened is swing dancers got hold of the dance and then they took out all the taps and then they made it something that they thought this is something that everyone should be able to do when we get together. Something relatively easy. Well it was easy for them you know back then but Nowadays, we would consider it a little bit harder. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Anywhere you go across the world, people will dance the Shim Sham. So you can go to any swing dance, and this is something that everyone will have in common. Okay, so Shim Sham, let's get started. We're going to start with our right foot, okay? And the first step is we're going to stomp forward, drag the foot back, and then stomp on the left, drag that one back, and then twice on the right. Okay? And then we're going to stomp left, and then right, and then twice on the left, and then again, right, a left, twice on the right. These are called the Shim Sham Steps, also known as stomp and drag. So we are going to stomp the right foot forward, okay? And when you do that, keep your body back. Stomp, and then drag that foot back. And then same thing with the left. And then twice with the right foot, okay? That's the first part of the dance. This dance is gonna start on the count of eight, okay? Most dances we start on the count of one. But here we're gonna get a little head start on every step, okay? So it'll be five, six, seven, eight. That's the first step. Ready? Here we go. A five, six, seven, eight. Stomp and drag. Twice on the right, you go left, right. Twice on the left, you go right, left. Twice on the right. That's the beginning of the dance. Let's do that again. The key to learning Shim Sham is repetition. The more you repeat, the more it'll stick. So here we go. Again. A five, six, seven, stomp, right, then left, then twice on the right, a left, right, stomp, twice on the left, then right, left, twice on the right, and let's do that again. Here we go. A five, six, seven, stomp, right, then left, then twice on the right, a left, a right, twice on the left, right, left, twice on the right, and then the next part. Okay, you might be asking, what do I do with my hands? What do I do with my arms? Okay, and the answer is whatever you want. Okay, don't just dangle them at your side like you're an Irish dancer, okay? <laughs> Let them kind of go with the flow. Right now what I'm doing is kind of instructing with the arms. I'm saying, okay, this foot, that foot. So you don't have to do what I'm doing, which is Maybe not what I would do when I'm actually dancing the dance. So here we go, let's do it again. A five, six, seven, stomp, right, then left, and twice on the right, then left, and right, and twice on the left, then right, and left, and twice on the right. One more time, here we go. A five, six, seven, stomp, right, then left, and twice on the right, then left, and right, and twice on the left, and right, and left, and twice on the right. Then we do a step called the break. The break. Step onto your right foot, bring the weight onto it. Touch behind with the left. Step onto the left foot. Touch behind with the right. And then we're going to step and walk, walk, walk. That's the easiest version of the break. Okay, so let's try that. Do the break. A five, six, seven, step, touch, step, touch, step, a walk, walk, walk. Do that again. A five, six, seven, step, touch, step, touch, step, a walk, walk, walk. 
The walk, walk, walk is three steps backwards. <coughs> or, if you get better at this, maybe you take two steps backwards and one step forward so you don't keep drifting backwards. Okay, let's do the break. Five, six, seven, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. And when you dance the break, you know, emphasize the weight shifts. Bend your knees. Pretend like you're dancing. Here we go. A five, six, seven, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk again. Do the break. Five, six, seven, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk again. Five, six, seven, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk again. Five, six, seven, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk again. Five, six, seven, step, touch. Step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. Okay, we're going to use the break many times during the dance. Um, so it's good that we spend a little bit of time on it. The first time we're going to use it is at the end of the first section. So we just ended up doing these stomps and drags. We did them to the right, to the left. We did them a third time to the right. And then the fourth part, we're going to do the break. So let's try the entire first part of the dance. Stomp and drag three times and then go into the break. So, from the top. Five, six, seven. Stomp right, then left. And twice on the right, then left. And right. And twice on the left, then right. A left. Twice on the right. Do the break. Step, touch, step. Walk, walk, walk. Let's do that again. Here we go. A five, six, seven, song, right, then left, and twice on the right, then left, and right, and twice on the left, then right, and left, and twice on the right, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. Okay, one more time with that. You might have noticed that if you dance Shim Sham over and over and over again, it, it, it's a little bit of a workout. Okay? Which is a good thing, right? All right, let's do what we know so far from the top. So five, six, seven, song, right, then left, and twice on the right, then left, then right, and twice on the left, then right, and left, and here comes the break. Step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. And now we go on to the next part, which is the push crossovers. Okay, how does the push crossover work? Everybody, push this way. Step on your right foot. You're trying to push through this barrier, but you were unsuccessful, so you come back to the left. And you push again. We're pushing forward and to the right a little bit, so kind of diagonally, 45 degrees. Come back again, so that's the push. Let's push, come back, push, come back. You can get your arms into it if you want and then we have to learn another step called the crossover the crossover we're gonna step on the right foot we're gonna do a little kick and then step step as we turn our bodies towards the other side so once again crossover step kick step step okay if we do push crossover it's gonna be push come back then you push Come back, then you step, kick, step, step. And guess what? We're going to do the same thing towards the left. So push to the left, come back, push to the left, come back, and cross over. Step, kick, step, step. And once again to the right, push to the right, come back, push to the right, come back, and step, kick, step, step. Okay, so we're going to do three sets of push and crossovers. Let's give that a try. Here we go. A five, six, seven, push, and you push, and you step, you cross over, then you push, and you push, and you step, cross over, and you push, and push, and you cross over. Okay? Now, there's a little tradition in Shim Sham that we often do. Someone's going to be leading the dance. That's going to be me right now. And so I'm going to yell out the push part. And you all have to yell out 
the crossover part, okay? So I want to hear you yell out crossover at the appropriate time. Let's give this a try. Here we go. A five, six, seven, push and you push and you. Crossover. That was good. Push and you push and you what? Crossover. And you push and you push and you. Crossover. And you. Oh, we didn't do that part. Okay. So three push crossovers and then we're going to end with something different. That's kind of a pattern in the shim sham. We do three of something and then we end with a break or we end with something a little bit different. Okay, so all we're going to do is end with some crossovers. So we do push to the right, right, and we cross over. Then we push to the left, to the left, and we cross over. Push to the right, to the right, and we cross over. Then two more crossovers. Cross over and cross over. And hold it right there with your right leg crossed in front of your left. Your weight should be on the road on the left, the front foot. The left crossed in front of the right. Okay, so let's do that. Push crossovers. Here we go. A five, six, seven, you push and you push and you. And you push and you push and you. And you push and you push and you. And you. And you. Okay. By the time you say the last crossover, it'll be time to go into the next part. So, let's just do a bunch of crossovers in a row. I want to see what those look like. Everyone try crossing that way. So step, kick, step, step, and then step, kick, step, 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 and step, 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 and step, step. Okay, so a couple of tips for the crossover. You don't want to turn all the way you don't want to turn towards any one wall. You want to kind of look forward and just let your bottom half turn, okay? Tip number two, you don't want to be too stiff, okay? So think of when you cross over, everyone bend, bend your knee, kind of kick towards the ground, okay? Okay, so, so you want kind of a light, sort of kick. And then finally, the foot on the ground. Don't be afraid to slide it out of, you, out of your own way, okay? So here's my crossover. I get that foot out of the way just by sliding it back a little bit. Okay? Let's try some crossovers this way first. One, two, ready, and we step, cross over, and you step, cross over, and you step, cross over, and step, cross over, and step, cross over. Okay, push cross over. Here we go. Let's do that whole part. A five, six, seven, you push, and you push, and you what? And you push to the left, and you. And you push to the right, and you. And you, and you, okay, let's do that one more time, push cross over, here we go, push cross over, a five, six, seven, push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you, and you, and we end right here. Now, what if we put the first two sections together? What do we have? We've got the stomp and drags, three of those. We do the break, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, 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 right into the push, crossover. So let's take it from the beginning. Here we go. A five, six, seven, stomp, right, then left, then twice on the right, then left, and right and twice on the left, right, left, twice on the right. You do the break, step, touch, step, walk, 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 and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you, and you. Okay. Now, the more you yell out those pushes and the crossovers, the more excitement the group dance starts to take on. <laughs>
All right, let's do it again. From the beginning. Here we go. Five, six, seven, song right and left and twice on the right. A left and a right and twice on the left and a right. A left, twice on the right. Step, touch, step, touch, step. Walk, 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 and you push, and you push, and you. And you push, and you push, and you. And you push, and you push, and you. And you. And you. Okay. See, the energy was lacking towards the end, so I stopped dancing. My feet were not motivated to move. All right, let's do it one more time. Here we go. Five, six, seven, stomp right, then left. Twice on the right, then left, then right. Twice on the left, then right, left. Twice on the right, step, touch, step, touch. Step, walk, 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 and you push, and you push, and you. And you push, and you push, and you. And you push, and you push, and you. And you. And you. Okay, very good. So what's next? We have the left foot crossed in front of the right. Your weight's on your front foot. And the first thing we're going to do is straighten them out, push up, and land right left. This is called a stomp off, okay? Everybody, push up on your left foot, wherever it is, even if it's right here. We're going to go bottom, right left, da-da, da-da, da-da. So that all happens in one beat, okay? It's five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So we're going to do a stomp off, which is right left. And then touch back with the right. Step in place with the right, touch back with the left. Step in place, touch back with the right. Step in place, touch back with the left. This is called the tacky and. Tacky and. Why is it called that? Is it named after somebody? Probably. <laughs> but we don't know who. Okay, right here. We're gonna start with the stomp off and straighten out the feet. Push up on the left. So five, six, seven, stomp on. A touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. That's the first part. You've touched with the left. Touch back with the left, everyone. Bring your weight onto the left momentarily. Push up, stomp off again. Right, left. Touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. And do it again, stomp off. Bada. Touch, step. Touch, step, touch, step, touch. Let's try those, a few of those tacky hands in a row, okay? So everybody, get ready to stomp off. A five, six, seven, and eight. Touch back, step, touch back, step, touch back, step, touch back. Stomp off, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. And then, dun, 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 dun. Okay, very good. A couple of fine points about that. Everybody, step on your right foot. Okay, actually do the stomp off right left. Okay, touch back with the right. Now, to make this look different than the break, which we just did, which we did a while ago, why don't we just touch straight back. Okay, the foot straight back. With your arms, you can do whatever you want. Okay? All right. So, touch back. Step in place. Touch back left. Step in place. Touch back right. Step in place. Touch back left. Now, you only touch the left foot back. Your weight's on your right foot. But it's time to step with the right foot anyway. So what do you have to do? do is momentarily shift your weight onto the back toe so you can do that. Da -da. Straighten out the feet and touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, put the weight and do it again. Okay? 
So we're going to do three sets of tacky hands. Here's the first one. Cross the left in front of the right. Straighten out. Ta-da. Touch back, step. Touch back, step. Touch back, step, touch. A second time, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Third time, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step. And hold it right there. We're not going to do a fourth time. We're going to do three times. And then we're going to do a break, which we already know. Everyone touch your toe back. And once again, you have to momentarily shift the weight so you can step. Touch, step, touch, step. Walk, walk, walk. So let's do three tacky ends plus a break, which is the third section of the dance. Here we go. Start like this. Crossed over. A five, six, seven. Stomp off. Touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Step, touch, step, touch. Third time. And. Now we do the break, a step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. All right, that's all there is to it. The only slightly hard part is your weight's on your right foot, and then you have to step with your right foot again. So just shift the weight back onto your toe, left toe for a second, and you'll do it. So again, from here, Cross over, five, six, seven. Stomp off, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Stomp off, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Third time. And here comes the break. Step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. Everyone have that? Should we do it again or are we ready to do all three parts? One more time. Okay, here we go. Crossover. Like I mentioned earlier, the key to learning this is repetition. So here we go. A five, six, seven, and eight. Touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Stomp off. Touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Third time. Touch, step, touch. And here comes the break. A step, touch, step, touch, step. Walk, walk, walk. Let's put it all together. You want to join us, Teresa? She's going to be in front of that side of the room. I'll be over here. Here we go. From the beginning. From the top. Ready? A five, six, seven. Stomp right and left. And twice on the right and left and right. And twice on the left and right and left. And twice on the right step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, 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 and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, 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 and Touch, get ready for the break, the step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. Okay, let's do that again. Here you go. A five, six, seven, stomp right, then left, then twice on the right, then left, then right. Twice on the left, right, a left, twice on the right, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, 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 and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you what? And you push, and you push, and you, and you, and you, back the end. Dun, stop off, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, stop off, touch, step, touch. And here comes the break, the step, touch, step, touch. And one more time from the top. Here we go. Everyone walk forward a little bit. You've been drifting backwards on each and every break. Here we go. A five, six, seven, stop, right, and left. 
twice on the right and a left, a right, twice on the left and a right, left, twice on the right, step, touch, do the break, step, walk, 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 and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you, and you, cross over, dun, 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 stomp off, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, stomp off, and here comes the break, the step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. All right, very good, everyone. Is it starting to feel like a workout yet? A little bit. We have one more major part to the dance. And this is called stomp. This is called two half breaks. What is two half breaks? Well, we're going to do two stomps. Stomp right and then left. Right and left. To do the stomps, a couple of ways you can do it. Throw your body weight onto your right foot forward and then back on the left. Try that again. Right and then left. The other thing you can do is just run your feet under your body. Okay? Stomp, stomp. That's probably the easiest way. Okay? And then we're going to do a kick ball change. What is that? Take your right foot, kick forward. Okay? Come back, bring the right behind the left, land on the ball of your foot, and then change the weight over to the left. So it's going to be kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. Kick, step, step. Okay? When you do kick, ball change, be sure to get, after you do the kick, be sure to get the right behind the left. Okay? It doesn't have to be any hopping. It's kick, step, step. Kick, step, step. Kick, step, step. Kick on the right, land on the right, change the weight to the left. Okay? Practice that a few times, because that's going to be useful. All right. So, a half break is stomp, stomp, kick, ball change. Stomp, stomp, kick, ball change. That's two half breaks, okay? So that's the move. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's try that again. A five, six, seven, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change. Okay, your weight should be on your left foot. That was the change part. When you do the kick forward, usually you keep the ball of the foot close to the ground, okay? If we were tap dancers, we would scuff the ground in front with the ball of our foot. We would make some noise, something like that, okay? So that's how it's usually done. So, two half breaks, here we go. Five, six, seven, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change. This is followed by a break, which we know is going to be step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. And we do it again. Stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, then a break. Step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. So the fourth part of the dance is two half breaks and a break, twice in a row. So let's do the fourth part. Here we go. All together. A five, six, seven, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, do the break, step, touch, step, walk, 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 again, stomp, kick, ball, change, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, do the break, Step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. All right, let's do that again. Two half breaks and a break. Twice in a row. Here we go. A five, six, seven, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, 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 stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, dun, 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 step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. One more time, all together. A five, six, seven, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, stomp, stomp, kick, ball, change, step, touch, step, 
to step, walk, 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 stomp, stomp, kick, walk, change. Da -da -da, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. Okay. Can we do the whole thing? Everyone scoot forward. Let's do the whole thing from the beginning. There we go. A five, six, seven, stomp, right, and left, and twice on the right, and left, and right, twice on the left, and right, left, twice on the right, step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, 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 and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you push, and you push, and you, and you, so over and you cross over. Bump, 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 bump. So I'm off, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. So I'm off. Here comes the break, step, touch, step, touch, step. Walk, walk, walk. Bump, bump, ba da 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 Step, touch, step, touch, step, walk, walk, walk. Okay, next. Why don't we have everyone come forward, make as big a line as you can. I mean, as many people come into the front row as you can. And if you have to be in the back row, that's all right. We're going to put on a song. We're going to try dancing this to music, what we know so far. Now, there are a lot of songs you can shim sham to. Okay? You're looking for a song? There's, there's several that are commonly done, okay? But really, any song with a jazz structure that's not too fast and not too slow will work for Shim Sham. Now this time, I want to hear those crossovers. I want to hear it. If I can't hear it, he definitely can hear it. All right, so every song has a little bit of an intro. And this one's no exception. Here's the intro. What do we want to do on the intro? Clap on every upbeat. A five, six, seven, stomp right, and left, and twice on the right. So that's how it's going to go, OK? During the intro, you might be off on the sidelines somewhere. So you want to come out onto the dance floor, OK? You want to look alive, make some noise, generate some excitement for the Shim Sham, clap on the upbeats, that's a good way to do it. And let's give it a try with music. Here we go. Five, six, seven. sections we learned are the first part of the dance. The second part of the dance is to repeat part one, except instead of doing breaks, we're going to do freezes. So let's practice those freezes. Okay? How did the beginning of the dance go? Well, what did we do? We stomped right, dragged it back, left, twice on the right, then we did left, right, twice on the left, then right, left, twice on the right, but instead of doing a break, go ahead and put that right foot down and strike a pose and freeze for eight counts. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to push, push, and we're going to cross over. Now the push crossovers didn't have any breaks in them. So they're going to be exactly the same. Once we do the last push crossover, however, it's time for the tacky ands, which are going to be stomp off, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. A second time. Third time. Strike a pose and do a freeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the next part. Stomp, stomp, kick, ball change. Stomp, stomp, kick, ball change. Then freeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, stomp, stomp, kick, ball change. Kick, ball change. And freeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are parts one. And parts two of the Shim Sham, which is nearly the whole thing. So let's dance both of those with music. Okay, here comes the intro. I want to hear a little bit of clapping at the beginning. And I want to hear you guys yell out the crossover part. extra things just for fun okay and the first thing is called boogie back we're gonna boogie back four times what's a boogie back it's a kickball change and maybe even a clap as you push yourself backwards in the backward direction kick ball change a kick step step a kick step step a kick step step we're gonna do that four times for the boogie back get low Get low a little bit. Okay. You can clap on the kicks. Just be sure to go back a little bit. Okay? With both feet. Okay, so here we go. Boogie back. Uh, five, six, seven. Boogie back. Boogie back. Boogie back. Boogie back. Then we have something called boogie forward. And what that is, is you take your right foot, you go to the middle, and then outward with your left. Go to the middle and outward. It's going to be four steps forward. To the middle and out. To the middle and out. When you do the out part, you can go out with your foot, your hips. You can do, there's all sorts of arm styling that can go along with this. You can throw one arm or both arms up into the air. Okay. So, boogie forward. Five, six, seven, and forward, and forward, and forward. 
forward and forward. Okay, let's do boogie back and then boogie forward again. Here we go. A five, six, seven, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, and forward and forward and forward and forward. Okay, and guess what? We're gonna do that a second time as well. So second time, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, and forward and forward and forward and forward. Okay? So let's do those again. Boogie back, boogie forward twice in a row. Five, six, seven, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, and forward and forward and forward and forward. Boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, and forward, 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 forward. Okay. When people get more advanced at Shim Sham, you'll see people who are doing this and it doesn't resemble the original dance, okay? Well, they either learned some substitute moves that they put in themselves, or they just invented stuff, or they forgot the dance. It could be any one of those things, okay? If you're, if you're just beginning this, then, you know, when you do the shim sham, get behind someone who you're pretty sure knows it well. And when you get really advanced, come to the front row so everyone can copy. You're dancing. Okay. Boogie back, boogie forward. Couple of styles on the boogie back. Kick, ball change. That's the easiest, that's the best. Sometimes you see people do stomp offs instead. They get really low. Sit, snap, sit, snap. Okay. We don't want to give you too many options now. So we'll do the kick, ball change. And then sometimes you hear people yell right before the Boogie backs, they say, what time is it? Boogie time, here we go. Five, six, seven, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, and forward and forward and forward and forward, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, and forward and forward, forward and forward. Next up, boogie back again. Boogie back, boogie back, boogie back. Boogie back, and we're going to do something called Shorty George, which is a funny little walk. Okay. So, to do Shorty George, okay, so it's a goofy walk, right? It's named after one of the star dancers of the late 20s, early 30s, in the Set Boy Ballroom. Okay, first thing you want to do is get short. Bend your knees. Okay, and we're going to do small steps, right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep your feet close together, keep your knees close together, okay? And when we do the walk, we're not even, I'm not even going to pass my foot by a full length. I might pass it by, say, a half length, okay? And if you want to roll your knees, it's even better. Keep them together, okay? Get short, keep your back straight. But the most important thing about Shorty George is to point the fingers. You've seen this in all these movies, right? This is one of the famous jazz or boogie steps from the swing era. Okay, normally when you walk, you walk with your left foot and you swing your right arm across. You walk with your right foot Swing your left arm across. Well, we're going to do the opposite for the shorty George. It's going to be like this. Okay? So, we walk with our right foot. We point our right hand down, right next to the right knee. We walk with our left. We point the left finger down. And by the way, one finger goes down, the other comes up. A couple of things to avoid. Don't bend forward. Don't hunch over. Keep your back straight. 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 Walk. 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 Okay, we're going to start the Shorty George with a kick ball change. Kick to the side, kick, step down. Okay, think of that. Kick with your right, step down. And I go ahead and get the fingers moving even on the kick ball change. If I kick with my right foot, I put my right finger up. Okay, so it's going to be kick, ball left, right, left, right, left, right, 
left. And guess what? We're going to boogie back again. Boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back. Kick ball left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's the Shorty George. Okay? So let's do boogie back, Shorty George twice in a row. Here we go. A five, six, seven, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, shorty left, right, left, right, left, right, left, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, a shorty George. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's do it again. Most common mistake, if I could even call it that, but most common thing I see that people are doing on the shorty chores is they're just pointing two fingers down at the same time. So make sure one is down and one is up. Okay, here we go. Boogie back, shorty George. A five, six, seven. Boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back. A kick ball left, right, left, right. Shorty George, boogie back. Boogie back, boogie back. A shorty George. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, one more time with that. Here we go. A five, six, seven, boogie back. Boogie back, boogie back, shorty George. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boogie back, back, boogie back, boogie back, shorty George. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just do the third part of the dance. Boogie back, boogie forward twice in a row. Boogie back, Shorty George, twice in a row. Here we go. A five, six, seven, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie forward, and forward, and forward, and forward, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, and forward, 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 boogie back, boogie back, here's the Shorty George, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, boogie back. Shorty George, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that is the entire dance. Parts one, where we do the break. Part two, where we do the freezes. Part three, where we do boogie back, boogie forward, boogie back, Shorty George. If there is any time left on the song, what you do is you turn to the partner next to you and just swing dance or Lindy Hop the remainder of the song. Okay? Whatever you want to do. Sometimes there's a caller and the caller will call things while you're dancing such as freeze and other interesting things. So, let's try dancing the whole shim sham including the very end with you, where you dance with a partner. Okay? With music. The more you practice this, the better you're going to get.
Emily, very good. Okay, one more time. From the top, and then we'll do this one more time tonight. And then join in the Shim Sham anytime you see it danced anywhere. Thank you everyone, that concludes our Shim Sham class. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs>